Hi right, guys, welcome back to Into the Breach. Um, uh, even though I can kind of go over here. Um, by the way, so this does actually scale to your current progress, so this would be easy enough for me to defeat right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that on screen. I think I'm just going to do all the islands on screen because I think that's kind of more fun because we get more items and upgrades and stuff like that. Um, eh, who knows, you know. Uh, I've unfortunately gotten none of the uh, the upgrades at all. Um, so we're going to have to focus on that at some point, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I, as I said, for all my playthroughs for each one I do, I'm going to commit to at least getting, I think, most of it down before I unlock something else. But the thing is, I don't even know if I'm going to unlock anything else because of this shit. Um, as I said, there's squad achievements and stuff, so we'll get more into that in a bit later. So that's what I'll try and do. So this one's an easier one. This one's a... Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, defend the robots and protect the lab. Alright. Alright, that's a lot of things. What, what kind of things are these guys? Deploy a freeze mine. Alright. So we'll do something like this. You know what to do. Alright. I always know what to do. Alright, so we can kind of deal with this guy all in one turn. Huh. I could push these two jerks away, but I would have preferred to deal with this guy first. What's this guy hitting? The bot. Do I have the movement on this guy? Okay, so I think a problem is going to be this guy. Right here. Um, so how do we move him out of the way is the question. That is the question we ask. So, like, this guy is sitting beside these mountains, right? Uh, and I can't really get him to move around. It's difficult to do that. See, if I do this and, like, ram him, it's not enough damage. It's not even enough to prevent him from doing any damage. And I can't, I can't hop over him. This bot might be dead, actually. The other thing, the other option I have is to use this guy to knock him out of the way, right? Knock him out of the way, and then this guy can push him away as well. Even though this doesn't really work. Oh, wait, I have this thing. Right, we have this new ability here. So this moves a lot of them around, but not to the point at which I would want to, that to work. Uh, let's undo that move. All right, all right, we do actually have an option here. If I am able to move over there, but I have to be able to deal with this guy. Uh, that's gonna kill something I don't want it to kill. Because I'm kind of trying to focus upon killing that. But we need to get past it, you see? And luckily I can fly past him because this is a flying guy. But we're going to take damage if we do that. But I think, I think we can save the bots. Because they're right now just focusing upon me. What's this guy's attack? He's got a charge. So either way, you see the problem is once we deal with him... Then we have to deal with this guy charging. He's getting charged into one of the buildings. So what's more important, optional objectives or building? I think this guy is just dead, honestly, because of the reason that I can't deal with this guy. He's been put into such a position where I think I think no matter what, because okay, the way this works is these two bots are utterly useless for dealing with this guy because he's in a corner. I can't push him out of there at all without taking damage. This guy is the only one that can deal with it, but I have to do. I have to move this guy out of the way. Um, because I would I would basically need to hit either this or this to push him forward. No, no, just this tile. This is the only tile I can hit. It's either that or you, or I smoke cloud him somehow, or or something along those lines. I think I just got fucked by RNG, honestly. Like the the RNG for this started really poorly for me. So, because like the with the bots I have, it's just um, it just doesn't work. Because I can't jump over him to disable him. Uh, the only smoke I have can go behind him, but I can, as I said, I can push him forward, away from there. 
but you know I would I, I have to hit this one because any other tile just doesn't work at all so that's that's the only way I've determined I can save that so and that's the thing is that this guy has to then go out of the way which means this guy has to ram him to begin with so let's do some cl cluster artillery then which doesn't seem too much better so let's just accept this guy's dead he's dead there's not nothing we can do unfortunately this is gonna just do a shit ton of damage somewhere he must be hit twice this tile so I don't really care what these two assholes are doing I'm trying to debate how to handle this is there any other way I have of dealing with us He's gonna go third. Thing is, I could just try and do enough damage to him to basically kill him, but yeah. And it's hard. He's got the smoke generator now. Man, right away I'm just put into this like, I wouldn't say impossible predicament, but it's definitely not easy. And I, I kind of want to push this guy into water, so maybe that's what we'll do. Given that I, I'm in this like no-win situation, I wouldn't say it's like no-win, but you know. Okay, he's gone now. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and do a mission where I don't take damage. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna attempt that, which is hard because a lot of my abilities are like self damaging. So, but I don't think there's much we can do about that. At least get like one achievement somewhere in here. Because at this point, I'm not getting the optionals anymore. So. Um, but the problem is now it's like, oh, I can't block anything anymore with my guys anymore. And if I go over here, I'm going to get snowed, but that's okay because I can actually just help over them over here. Rocket artillery. Protect the robotics lab. So we can hit like over here. Yeah, that sounds good. That will deal with that guy. And then we can hop over him. And this guy, we simply have to repulse onto one of those platforms. And then he's dead. Ah, oh, that's a lot of shit. A lot of shit that I'm not sure I can even deal with. <laughs> everything, everything takes damage here. Well, actually, he's only trying to deal with that, so... Okay, so this guy, if, if, if I'm still trying to do my little strat here, I can only push him back, right? Actually, let's see here. Um... Uh... So we can do something like this. Push him back. Move this guy back onto that platform. And do that. So nobody's taking damage and everybody's alive. So it's all good. Oh, that's this guy was here. Oh, he was hitting that. I thought he was hitting me. All right, I misread that. All right, so couple more guys here. Alright, let's have a look here. So this guy goes third. This is definitely doable, this one. So we gotta probably smoke cloud this guy, but I don't have anything for that, but I can easily do some shit with that actually. 
Thing is, there's two smoke clouds here, so I, I can't actually go into him, right, to... Actually, wait. Can I do this? Ah, uh, yeah, easiest game of my life, actually. Alright. And now it's just dealing with this guy. And that's pretty simple, actually. So I just need to kind of move out of the way for this. There you go. Not, that's pretty... That's pretty easy. There we go. Got your achievement. Oh, it actually required me to not use a bunch of abilities I've gotten. That's why I've never gotten up to this point. It's unfortunate though I didn't get the other thing. So we got that one. Now we have 12 smoke and then uh, overpowered. Which is, uh, I mean, we could get that just by like rushing all the things that give me a bit more power. But, you know. If I get just the one, I think it'll be okay. I, I, but I, I just like reputation too much, guys. I, I can't help it. Projectile caught that causes target to burn. All right, and we have a frozen one, frozen guy here. So we are supposed to just freeze and defend both robots. So, um, so we'll just do something like that. Uh, we got our, we got ourselves a pod. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I've actually increased the game speed a bit because I was playing a bit on my own, so. Alright, so what's this guy want to do? He's just not attacking, alright. So a really simple thing to do would be actually just to move him to the side. But we can freeze one of these guys. Probably this one, honestly. We're going to have to deal with him somehow, though. So, I, I think I'm gonna actually need this guy to actually move these two out of the way. Because he's gonna attack that, and this guy's gonna attack this guy, and I can't get to a position to freeze him. So the best thing to do actually would be to do this. And then we just kind of deal with this guy at our own convenience, essentially. Because uh, we can just... Uh, I would like to move him onto one of these, but I don't think we we don't have the ability to do that because this guy can't manipulate positions. So. so what we'll do is we'll do something like this. All right, pretty easy. Oh yeah, he's sending shit on fire too. So that's another good reason to. Remove him from the equation. Okay, so he's going to cause issues here. Alright, so him ramming isn't a problem, so we can just ignore this guy, honestly. But the problem, the, this guy is an issue here. This guy's going to just fire a flame projectile that way, so that's not really an issue. Uh, just wondering if I should deal with him somehow immediately. Probably with the plane, honestly. The plane will do this one really nicely. Because he will die. We don't have to care about him. We don't have to care about him either, so. Uh, I would like to freeze some, like the other guy, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just freeze this guy instead. Beck has been encased in ice. Yeah, we can probably just deal with this guy. And this guy doesn't have to do very much other than to just kind of stand out of the way. Oh wait, is it gonna hit that thing? Oh, I think it, no, 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 it goes over it. Of course it does. That indecision, man, that indecision, you never know. All right. So we can definitely freeze that last one now. That one's uh, not a problem. All right, so we do that. I think I'm just gonna kill this guy with this guy and push this guy over here, but the emergence happens at the end, so that doesn't really work. 
But I could just kind of smoke him right now, honestly. There you go. There we go. You got an upgrade of... Uh, no, this guy got an upgrade. Mech move and mech reactor, I think. Uh, he had one of them before. I think it was the reactor, though. So I'm pretty sure I just gave it to movement speed. Alright. I mean, all we have to really do is freeze these guys. Alright. Guess we can't really do much else. We can't do anything. Perfect victory. Good shit. Can't argue with results, guys. Uh, okay, he got movement then. Uh, is there anything I really want for it? one damage each? Increase self and oh wow. As I said, it's a good thing he has the armor because that reduces his damage by one. That's that's horrible. <laughs> As that I, it's one of those I think clutch abilities, which is nice, but yeah. Shield self creates a personal shield when used. Shield friendly. Oh, you can shield friendlies too. That's kind of nice. I think I'd prefer to put it basically onto the storm generator though. And I think we're going to do that. So how many do we have left? One, two, three. Okay, let's go for the power one here. Uh, yeah, let's go for venting field. Alright, let's see here. Uh, so we have the one that uh, fires a piercing laser beam and this one causes projectile to burn. So it says here, end the damage, end, the, end it with less than four damage and then these guys are still obviously around. And they're not, on, they're never on my side. That's a sad story for me, but... But it doesn't say I actually don't have to kill them. Or, it do sorry, it doesn't say I have to I have to keep them alive, I, I should mention. It says, uh... Some interesting stuff. Alright, so this guy is kind of blocking this way while he's gonna basically fucking set everything on fire. So... Uh, I'm just debating how to move these guys around. So yeah, this one I actually don't have to keep them alive, which is nice. This one I can move back, though. So let's focus more upon these two schmucks. Which is actually really easy to deal with. Uh, apparently not that easy. But I think easy enough, though. There you go. Okay. So, okay, easy to deal with. It's all good. We just killed them all just like that. Just casually. I would like to take out this guy though, but let's push this guy back first onto that. And there's really nothing I can do here. So we're just gonna skip your turn actually. Is there a better position? Maybe maybe I'll just move him down a tile, gives him some more positioning options. Why is there a bot there? I just realized there was another one. Alright, so we have one that's just attacking here, so he's useless. This guy's going to try and kill that, so I mean the easiest thing to do would be to move him back. But unfortunately I do three damage now, so uh, yeah, that's something. It looks like I can't really deal with this guy, but he can. So let's do that. So I want to move him in the way of that. And Abe can just uh, chillax, I think. Unless I want to do this, but it will give me a little bit of damage. What order they go in? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna wait. Let me undo his move. It would be smart to block one, and I have less than four damage, so yeah. Let's do the smart move here. Oh, well, he killed him anyway, so. Still, moving him in the way was still a good idea, I think. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Order is two. Okay. I gotta move these guys in the way like that. Huh. I mean, they're kind of all in the way here. And unfortunately, I'm gonna get hit now, but. Maybe I should just reset those, actually. It's the last turn. Might as well reset it. Kind of didn't work out the way I had hoped. I mean, I, I think the simplest thing is just to hit him. There you go. And now he can't do anything. It's just one guy left. Who cares? So we took one damage. That's all good. Alright, we're up to a full power grid now, so that's kind of nice. Break five buildings out of the ice. End the battle. Okay, this is the thing I haven't done before. Um, end the battle with less than four mech damage and protect the cold plant. Alright. We do have a lot of options for breaking things out of the ice, though. But it's kind of... Wait, but like, they have to hit them though, as well. So we just allow them to hit them? This is fucking with me, man. <laughs> uh... Okay, so we want to allow them to hit one. Because when they get hit once... Um... Fucking hell, man. Alright, so I think the... Doing with a passive guy would be good. So, we'll let him do his thing. This screws with me, man. Yeah, let's deal, let's deal with this guy first, because I don't like them having HP. Oh, fuck. Um... He would kill the thing, the tile that it's on. So, we're gonna use our reset there. I, I really do want to deal with him though. Because I was thinking of having this guy just hit these two, but I have to bring this guy out of the way somehow. Um, or, you could just do this. That works too. And then if I do this, I'm pushing them into hitting those ones. Because we want to hit some of them. There you go. Breaking them out of the ice. And that guy hits that one. Alright. But we can't have that guy hitting that. This screws with me so much, by the way. It's just because of the fact that... It's the way the ice works now. Um, Alright, so if I hit this, what will happen? Okay, you won't die. What if I ram him? That's a pretty good idea. Because I won't take damage anyways. And then what I was planning on doing was I was going to go over here and cluster artillery in this direction. Uh, this guy doesn't really have to do anything, so maybe I'll just pick up that and then just uh, end my turn. And we pretty much broke them all out of ice. Yeah, there you go. So now we have to deal with them entirely. Okay, so. The rest of this is pretty simple, because all we have to really do is just move them out of position. So. So I'm like, okay, hit that guy. You know, push this guy out of the way. He's not gonna die anyways, and then artillery shell this guy into the water. And there you go. So now we're like playing a normal game now. I I actually I like that twist. That's actually really cool. Uh, like you know, because your 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 thinking changes completely. 
on this stuff. All right, so this guy is not a threat, so let's just uh, ignore him. Um, problem is this guy, this guy, and the other guy. Why can't I move over here? That's odd. Huh. That's weird. I mean, you could just block the way. Why make this difficult? I, I there's no need to make things difficult. I'm just like I don't know. Because he's going to take less damage anyway. How much damage does this guy do? One damage. He's not even going to take any damage. So you can just chill right here. Because he's a good one for blocking stuff. There you go. Good stuff. Wait, I don't think we even took any damage that, that, that one. Alright, here we go. What did we get? Reactor core, nice. I like that. Alright, so... There's something else we need for mobility at all. Yeah, right here. A little bit more mobility on that guy. Oh, he doesn't really do anything, but... The spider leader. Oh. Gotta deal with that guy. So what does he do again? Uh, he's unaffected by smoke. Alright, that's a pretty big deal, actually. Considering this is like the smoke party. Uh, you can walk in water, and he throws out a ton of spider eggs. Alright. Fuck this guy. I automatically hate that. Alright, here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of baiting him to actually just hit a bunch of things here in between, and then using this guy to just hit them both. All right. He's a fucking asshole, but we already knew that. All right. We are so screwed, by the way. Uh, right. So we have a spider here and a spider here. But like, this is like already more than a few things attacking at once. But I really want to deal with him. So I can go here and hit him. But someone has to deal with all this stuff. Alright, I think I have some ideas of how to handle this. Okay, if I go back here, I can do this. And it will set that tile on fire. Okay, hopefully this goes in the right order. Okay, thank goodness it does. I can't really do anything about this guy though. But yeah, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here, hit him back into that. And this guy is going to just ram this fucking piece of shit. And then he can't really move. Uh, chrysalid, nice. Oh, of course, he can move, he can jump. Alright. Alright, we may have a c What the fuck is wrong with this game? We may have problems. How much damage is this guy gonna do? He's gonna kill him, actually. So, we may need to deal with that guy. Why? Why do I just get fucked all in one turn? I do this to myself somehow. How are you supposed to deal with us? This? this is insane.
Because I, I, I'm kind of half hoping that it will deal with the spider, but yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's just, this guy has to basically just kind of shoot himself then. Like, there, like there's no way for me to do this. Any proper way. It was just, it, that was just overwhelming right from the beginning. Yeah, like, fucking hell. That is ridiculous, that difficulty. <laughs> Alright, I kind of wish I could redo that. Like, I'm sure I could have done it maybe slightly better, but fucking hell. What's the range of this guy? Well, I can't tell, because... Whatever, we'll just shoot and see what happens. How in the fuck... How the fuck do you do this? So many fucking spiders. Because this guy's over here. This guy can't really move anywhere. The one thing I can think of is to hit this over here-ish, or... One second, do move. Because th that does one damage to everything, and kind of frees him. He's the one without the pilot, though. I still can't move out of here. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I think this one's just fucked up. Like, that's it. It's gone. That's the best I could do, I think. This is insanely difficult, this one. Wow, that one resisted all at both of them. RNG. It's the fucking spiders, though. Holy shit. Well, well played game, I guess. Well, here's the problem. This guy's now in the way, so... How much damage does he do? I think he just won, yeah. much thinking in my strategy games. Yeah, okay, so there's one, like, here's the thing, like, multiple buildings are getting hit from multiple angles. So it's like, how... So someone has to handle this one. That is, that is some just ridiculous expectations. I think, I think dealing with just this one and this one is, is the only way we're gonna be able to do this. Cause I, I can't think of many ways of getting them to kill each other. Cause I can, I can, here's the thing, I can push this guy down here. The question is, will that be enough? And I don't think it will be. Cause there's just, I have to handle this too, and I have to handle a lot of this stuff. Like, I, I, the only thing I can think of is positioning this guy down here to hit this guy, but it's not a kill. The spiders are actually the worst thing in this game. And, and I, and I realized that before, I didn't realize there was a boss dedicated to it. Holy shit. So I think I think we gotta pull all our eggs in this one basket here of trying to save this guy. I think if I push this guy down, I think this guy will be able to go in here and kill this guy, and then I can kill this guy. So I think that's how we're gonna do it. Uh actually we can just kill him from here. All right, that was um, that was insanity, actually. Yeah. Oh, it resisted at once, but yeah, that was fucking nuts, actually. Holy shit! 
I, 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 like, I just, I kind of just panicked on that one. I hadn't seen that before, and I was like, fucking hell. Mercury Fist. We don't have a Prime Class guy. Frost Beam. Alright, this might be nice. I think, I think that's really what I needed. I needed less passives and more, like, actual abilities to, to deal with some of this, these bigger threats, you know? Flips the target's attack direction. Oh, it's, it just inverts it. That might be actually really good. Con Confuse Shot sounds really nice. But the Freeze Beam... That requires a lot of power, but that's like... A lot, really good. Alright, so Storm Generator. So we can get plus one use. Oh, so it's a, it's a per use thing, so that's still good. Also, the shield self, uh, the shield self one sounds pretty good. So, is there someone else that can utilize the pa the passive? Honestly, I don't think I get a lot out of the storm generator. I know you have to kind of build for it. And I get it, uh, but I always, I, I just always feel like, I, I, for me myself, I'm not really using it a whole lot, especially with some of the shit I've gotten here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna retire it. Um, we have one more thing here, so. I will install something to shield self. And I might actually spend the rest on power. We were supposed to get an achievement to basically uh, overpower your grid by twice, so uh, we'll probably do that at some point. Well, well played game, that was pretty difficult. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time for the final island other than the boss. I'll probably incorporate the boss as part of the same episode because uh, it's shorter than I expected when I played it the first time, so I don't want to have those weird short ones. Anyways, uh, peace out, guys. Bye.